Hey guys, in a previous video, we went over the basics of integration by parts. In this video, we're going to do integration by parts on this problem. Integral of secant cube x dx. At first glance, it might not look like an integration by parts problem. Well, if you look closer, you can't just integrate this normally. If it was secant squared x dx, then we could have just said that that's tangent x. But instead, we have secant cubed x. So how do you go about doing this problem? Well, like I said, if it was just integral of secant squared x dx, it would have just been tangent x. So let's start there. Let's break this up. So let's say this equals integral of secant squared x times secant x dx. And I know I can't use u substitution in this case because if I said u as one of these, the others uh, not taken care of. So we can't use u substitution. So we know you have to use this form, integral of dv equals uv minus integral of v du, which is just the integration by parts form. So we have to figure out what our u is, and we have to figure out what our dv is. And recall that u has to be the one that's easy to derive because we're going to get du out of that and dv is going to be the one that's easy to integrate because we're going to get v out of that. So if we look at this one, the one that I broke up, which one's easy to derive and which one's easy to integrate? Remember that I said if this whole original problem was just integral of secant squared x dx, then the answer would have been simple and it would have just been tangent x. So we're going to set dv as secant squared x and integral of that is just tangent x. If we set u equals equal to secant x then the derivative of that is just secant x tangent x dx and these are standard derivatives and integra uh, integrals, so I re highly recommend that you have those memorized, especially when you're working with integration by parts, because it really does help. So now going from here, we're going to just use this form. So u times v, which is going to be secant x times tangent x minus integral of v, which is tangent x times du, which is secant x times tangent x dx. We have two tangent x's here, so I'm just going to go ahead and multiply those together and write that as integral of tangent squared x times secant x dx. If you recall the trig identity, tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus 1, we can replace that here. So I'm going to rewrite the problem once more, and this time I'm just going to uh, uh, replace the a tangent squared x with the trig identity. So wherever we had tangent squared x, I'm going to write that as secant squared x minus 1 times secant x dx. The whole idea of doing this is to make the integral simpler and make it look like something we can integrate. If you distribute this, we get minus, and I'm just going to break these up into separate integrals, minus integral of secant cube x minus, oh, dx minus 
integral of secant x dx and don't forget the original uv secant x tangent x now we know that this is a standard integral the integral of secant x dx is just natural log of secant x plus tangent x and that's and places like this is where knowing the standard integrals comes in handy so I highly recommend you know those once again I'm going to rewrite the problem so I don't get lost and lose anything so I'm, I'm still going to keep the uv so it's going to be secant x tangent x minus integral of secant cube x dx and this time I'm just going to substitute in the answer for this integral and recall I'm subtracting a negative so that's going to be plus natural log of secant x plus tangent x and if you look at what we have so far you see that this part looks exactly like what we started with so we can say that secant x ta times tangent x plus natural log of secant x plus tangent x minus integral of secant cubed x dx is equal to integral of secant cubed x dx so what can we do now since we have integral of secant cubed x dx on both sides we can add an integral of secant cubed x to both sides and if I had more space this would be right here but since I don't I wrote it underneath so take that to be on the other side of the equal sign so now we have secant x tangent x plus natural log of secant x plus tangent x which equals to 2 times this cancels out on that side and now since we're adding the integral of secant cubed x to the integral of secant cubed x we have two of these integrals so now to get the answer for the integral of secant cubed x we just have to divide the whole thing by two so the integral of secant cubed x dx is equal to half times secant x tangent x plus natural log of secant x plus tangent x and since it is an indefinite integral don't forget to write the plus c and that is the final answer for that integral in some cases you are just going to have to play around a little with the variables and having the trig identities or at least the very basic trig identities along with the standard integrals memorized really does help and speed things up and as you keep practicing it's going to become much easier and integration by parts really shouldn't be that bad so best of luck and if you haven't already subscribed if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave a comment and i'll see you guys next time